Hey, this is some guy named Chris, and today I want to talk about just a quick little tutorial on ConnectWise custom connectors versus calling ConnectWise data through HTTP uh, actions within Power Platform. So I'm going to share out my screen. And over time, you've seen me create custom connectors into the Power Platform, or sorry, into ConnectWise. And I've utilized those for a myriad of different tasks from updating companies to pulling in uh, opportunities and sending notifications, even back to uh, setting adaptive cards for updates. Any of all those things we've set up. However, what I've learned recently, and it's been a lot, I've been there forever probably, but I've been utilizing the repeated tasks of ConnectWise, of the custom connectors, adding to it. But if you need a simple task and the custom connectors are a little more complicated, what I'd like you to try to do, instead of, like I said, instead of doing the full custom connector, try to do a simple HTTP call. See if this works for you. You still need the connection. And even this 6333 here is actually in the ID, it's supposed to be ID. Um, for my example, I just put it in, but we have the authorization key, our client ID, content type. And once you have that, that simple task and simple execution, as long as you have the correct information in there, pulls back results. Again, if you need a quick, simple way of pulling in data or pushing data, try the HTTP call versus the custom connector. Thanks, have a great one.